All right. So, as you saw in the last video, we got the Reva water box on. Sounds amazing. <coughs> We're ready to hit the water. Milan's ready to hit the water. Look at you. <coughs> yeah, you're ready. And, uh, but before we get out there, I want to tackle one more part because we've been, we've been running this ski on uh, a set of 600cc injectors and we're maxing out the injectors when we try to run E85. It's not enough injector. So uh, a mix, no problem. 93, no problem. Plenty of headroom there. But I want to run E85. I want to test it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a new set of injectors. We've already got the fuel pump upgraded. We've already got uh, the fuel flex fuel sensor on board. We'll show you that it's wired into the hall tech and the last part of the puzzle is these Fuel injector clinic injectors. These are 1000 cc as you can see right here uh, They're all flow tested ready to go with plug and uh, plug and play pigtails So these will allow it to plug and play into the stock harnesses. So let's go ahead get the, uh, the the injectors we have in there right now out, which are actually stock injectors from an R35, believe it or not. That's what I had laying around. Uh, and then put these in, and we'll do a little bit of touch up on the tuning, and then we gotta go to the water to really dial it in. With the seats off, you can see here, we've got the motor, real easy. The injectors are right here on top. I love how accessible all the stuff is on this motor. Uh, that's a, it's a really well designed. If you're not familiar with these, I'll run you down through the, the quick list here. This is a supercharged, HKS supercharged 1.8 liter inline four, making around 350 horsepower on gas. With the E85, we're gonna be closer to 400 horsepower. Um, we've got a fizzle intercooler, turbo smart blow off valve, Reva water box, Solus prop, a lot of great stuff. Now, um, you can see the fuel system there, ready to rock. Hull tech, ready to rock, everything there. Um, a lot of people have helped me with this ski. One of them uh, is no longer with us. I just wanted to give a quick shout out upstairs to Eric Francis, champion. He's one of my one of my friends who passed away last year, and he helped me a lot with this ski. So uh, I think about it all the time. Whenever I'm on a jet ski or around jet skis, I remember him. And hopefully, if anybody uh, knew him, you know he's a great dude. So Eric, it's always for you, man. Jet ski stuff, always gonna think about you, bro. Anyway, let's go ahead. We'll get the um, we'll get these injectors out. And we'll get these new ones in. And just like that, here's our injectors. The new ones are in. Little shorties, adapter harnesses all plugged. Everything's good. We'll connect our fuel line here. And then we'll go fire up the laptop, get these fuel injector clinic 1000 cc injectors dialed in and ready for the water. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna power up the hull tech, which we've got hooked up to the laptop now, and we're gonna prime the fuel system so that we can check for leaks. So let's turn that on. Okay, we've got pressure. No leaks, looks dry. That's good. Now we'll go right over here. I'll show you how easy it is with the hull tech. So we go right to our stage one fuel injector flow rate, and we're just gonna Grab these, and we're gonna change it to a 1,000 as per, and then we're gonna go ahead and change the dead time as per the recommendations of Fuel Injector Clinic as a good starting point. You wanna adjust some of that stuff. But anyway, let's see how she fires off first go. We've got the hose hooked up. I'm gonna see how it fires off first. Let's see here. that air out of the system here he comes all right so we've got some air in the system obviously but you heard it fire off i'm not going to run it uh for a very long time without water flow but let's get the uh startup good and then we'll hook the turn the water on and let it idle for a little bit okay we got the 
water running. We're letting it warm up a little bit. Adjusting in all of our little fuel stuff. And uh, so far so good. 1000 cc injectors are in, ready to go. Now, like I explained before, we have a flex fuel sensor on board. It's up here, wired into the hull tech and will show us our ethanol content as well as uh, so that we can actually mix different fuel types and not have to worry about that change. So wide bands on, why everything's looking good. We'll let this warm up for a little bit, continue dialing things in, but so far so good. All right, so she's warmed up a bit. And I love the way this ski looks. Now we'll check response here. That's nice. Yeah, it's good. No dead spots. Feels real nice and linear, smooth. Nothing weird. Pretty simple. Next step is to go to the water uh, and we'll dial it in on pump gas, put some E85 in it, dial it in on E85. That's going to take a little while. So, either way, we're all set up. If you haven't seen the videos on this ski yet, go check them out because I'm really enjoying this project. I, I have been for a couple years now. It's gone from a completely stock FX SHO to a 400 horsepower potentially on E85. Uh, bigger HKS blower, kind of a monster. Uh, she does just south of 90 miles an hour as it sits. So, pretty happy with that. That's plenty of speed for this hull. I'm not trying to go 100. That would be over the top as far as I'm concerned. There's a lot of guys out there, that's their goal, 100 miles an hour, they wanna go 100. And uh, I've been 100 on the water. It's terrifying and unpredictable at best. So, on a bigger boat, okay. On these little skis though, man, if you just hit anything at all and stuff that pump, you're going for a ride that you don't wanna go for. So, we won't do that. But, we are gonna be doing some more, we're gonna do a lot more um, personal watercraft tuning. So, be, be ready for that. Hull tech, fuel tech, HP tuners, you name it. We've got a lot of different setups that we use on these skis. I'm going to be uh, connecting with my good buddy Ernesto Callis from Callis Performance. Check him out if you have it. His uh, YouTube channel is Callis World. Really good, really cool stuff. He helps build some of the fastest skis in the world, including the fastest ski in the world. He did 135 at an event. crazy fast i'm not looking to go that fast but uh i do like drag racing so we're happy with where we're at now so now we've got thousand cc injectors flex fuel sensors on board hull tank is working perfect uh everything is as it should be so we'll uh button this up and the next step is going on the water and having some more fun hopefully with ernesto and the guys while we tune some more skis we'll do some sea dues we'll do some yamaha we'll do it all if you have a ski that you need to please let me know i can remote in for the hall tech stuff if you've got hp tuners i can help you with that too i've got files already built for these uh as well or not these but the, for the sea dues as well as uh, a lot of experience on the water so i can help you out so stay tuned for more for sure as we get to the water and uh i've also next week i've, I've got a bunch of e-bikes that were sent to me all in a big cluster and we had some bad weather for a week or so so i wasn't able to get any reviews done so next week i'm going to focus on those you're going to see about five or six reviews pump out in one week it's going to be wild and uh, hopefully i have some time to get to the water in between that so anyway stay tuned thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one hopefully on this if it's not on some bikes as usual all right see ya Mm-hmm.